how do you answer the Social Security judge's questions about your use of your car, your driving in a car? Hi, I'm Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm a Social Security Disability Attorney. And I will tell you that at most disability hearings, one of the questions the judge is going to ask you is, do you drive? And if so, how much do you drive? And the reason the judge is doing that is it is evidence of your activities of daily living. Realize that disability is about your capacity at work. Do you have the capacity to perform reliably at a simple entry-level type of job? And obviously, if you're applying for disability, you're not working and probably have not worked for two or three years. So the judge is going to have to rely on indirect evidence to determine your capacity for work. One of the ways the judge can glean this indirect evidence is to ask you questions about your activities of daily living. And driving is one of those. Um, and you don't want to answer the judge says, how much do you drive? Not very much. You really want to think about this ahead of time. And you want to be able to give the judge some sp specific answers about how much you drive. And what I would tell you is, if at all possible, keep a log. And if you have a year or six months or a year and a half log of how much you drove and you can refer to that or even introduce it into evidence, that can be very, very helpful to you to show that really you don't drive all that much. Now, it's okay, by the way, you can drive to the grocery store, it's okay to go to the doctor, um, it's okay to take you to go visit close by relatives. But I will tell you that if you start testifying that you've gone on a long vacation where you've driven or even been a passenger for six or eight hours, um, you better be prepared to say that you stopped every 45 minutes to walk around because your back was hurting you so bad. Or if you're driving and you're basically on mental health conditions that you don't drive during traffic, which again, depending on your, where you live, that can be very difficult. Um, I think it's a little problematic if you say that you drive to your kids' recreational activities, like a wrestling match or football game, because again, these are not essential uh, driving trips. But if you're doing them anyway, the judge is going to think, well, if you can drive to your kids' wrestling match, then you know how disabled really are you? If you're driving somebody to work or school on a regular basis, and I realize sometimes you have to, but if you're on a, on a, in a car, on carpool duty, you're taking your kid to school every day, and it's a 45-minute round trip, again, does that sound like you're are truly disabled. Maybe you are, but that's evidence you're going to get going to going to, going to get have to get past because that kind of regular activity, and this is really a good way to think about it. If it's regular, where you're doing it every single day or several times a week, that's kind of looking like a work-like activity. And if you're taking your kid to school 45 minutes every single day, picking them up uh, every day, 45 minute an hour trip, that sort of sounds like work. So when you're talking about driving again, you would certainly want to confer with your attorney, but you would want to definitely you know, make sure that you explain to the judge what you do, show a log of how much you do, but be aware that if you're driving on a regular basis or doing, making trips that are non-essential, um, then that could be problematic and you're going to have to really explain it away. And again, this is something where your attorney can be a big help to you. So, hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube, like it on Facebook, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page. I really appreciate that. And if you've not already done so, go to my uh, website, which is ssdanswers.com. I have a free download called Secrets to Winning Disability Survival Kit. You can grab that. Again, no cost. Uh, I think you'll find it very, very helpful. If you have any questions about this or any of the videos I've got, I've got about 250 out there now. And if you have any specific questions about disability that, that you'd like me to answer, please uh, leave a comment uh, on the YouTube channel and the Facebook page, and I will try to answer it or record a video about it. So again, this is Jonathan Ginsberg wishing you all the best. Thanks. Hi, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to know more about how to win your Social Security Disability case, I'd like to invite you to download my Secrets to Getting Approved Early Survival Kit that I created just for people like you. Currently, I'm making the Survival Kit available at no cost, and I encourage you to grab your copy now. Some of the topics I cover include, how do I know if I have a case? Is it the right time for me to file my claim? Nine common mistakes that can doom your case. The three must-have arguments you use to win your case. And a topic that every disability claimant wants to know, how to avoid trick questions from the judge. If you or a loved one need to win Social Security Disability Benefits, you'll find this survival kit essential reading. Download your survival kit right now and at no cost. Just visit ssdanswers.com backslash survival and sign up. It's that easy. 
Please act now. And as always, I wish you the best.